All right, section 5.5, products and quotients of rational expressions. Yesterday, or the day before, we learned how to factor and cancel out common factors or solve for zeros and items not in the domain in functions. Today, we are going to take it one step further by multiplying and dividing rational expressions. So, how do we do that? Here we go. The product of two or more rational expressions is the same as multiplying two fractions together. So if you have a over b times c over d, you get a times c over b times d. Products should always be expressed in simplest form. So today, we're not going to have any equations, so you can cancel out any common factors that appear both on the top and the bottom of a fraction. So make sure you reduce all your fractions, get rid of the common terms, and if you have number coefficients, make sure you reduce those to simplest fractional form as well. Example 1, b cubed over xy times 2x squared y over 4ab. So what you do is just start canceling stuff out. So the y's disappear. The b cubed over b becomes a b squared on top. The b at the bottom is gone. And for the x's, the x squared on top becomes an x because of the x on the bottom. And we reduce the fraction. 2 over 4 basically becomes 1 over 2. So whatever's left is b squared x times 2, oh, excuse me, b squared x over 2a. So again, cancel out common fractions or common terms in the fraction. Reduce your exponents. Again, no negative or zero exponents in the answer. And it's pretty simple after that. Example two, now you're going to have to factor this. So you have an a cubed minus 6a squared here over a squared plus 2a minus 3 times a squared minus 2a plus 1 all over a cubed. So the first thing you're going to want to do is factor everything you can factor. And what you'll see is after you factor on a squared, you get a squared times a minus 6 times a minus 1 quantity squared all over a plus 3a minus 1 times a cubed. So again, we start canceling. The a cubed on the bottom becomes an a after the a squared on top factors out. We also lose one of the a minus 1s on the top because there's an a minus 1 on the bottom. When you're done, just combine all the expressions. You don't have to multiply them back together. So a minus 6 times a minus 1 all over a times a plus 3. So again, factor, cancel out common factors, and then put it all together when you're done. The division rule for fractions is something that we've learned before as well. If P, Q, R, and S are real numbers and Q, R, and S are not equal to zero, then P over Q divided by R over S is equal to P over Q times S over R. Remember, when you divide by a fraction, you multiply by the fraction's reciprocals. So you divide by R, R over S, you multiply by S over R. And it's no different using rational expressions. Example three. 1 minus x squared over 3x plus 4 divided by x squared plus x minus 2 all over 9x squared plus 24x plus 16. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is whatever you're dividing by when it comes to the fraction, you want to flip it over and multiply by the reciprocal. So let's change it. So now we have 1 minus x squared over 3x plus 4 times the reciprocal of this. So you have the expression that was on bottom now on top and the expression that was on top now on the bottom. Now we're back to where we were before. You're going to want to factor every polynomial. So go ahead and do that. And when you're done, you should get 1 minus x times 1 plus x for 1 minus x squared all over 3x plus 4. We have a 3x plus 4 squared over x plus 2 x minus 1. We can cancel out one of the 3x plus 4s, and that will leave us this. The other thing I did was I factored out a negative 1 from 1 minus x. That converts it to x minus 1. If you're confused about this, you can multiply the negative 1 back in, and you see you get a negative x plus 1, which is the same as 1 minus x. So we go on to the next page. Again, now we start canceling common factors. Both the top and the bottom have an x minus 1. And so your final answer is negative x plus 1, 3x plus 4, all over x plus 2. If you somehow distribute this negative sign inside one of the factors, that's totally fine. You don't have to do that. So again, when you divide by a fraction, even if it's got x's and x squareds, flip it over just like you did when you multiplied numerical fractions and cancel out any common factors. 
Example 4, y squared minus 5py plus 6p squared over y plus 2p all over y squared minus 4p squared. So we have a fraction on top of a fraction where the denominator is y squared minus 4p squared. So when you have a fraction, it's basically the same as dividing the top expression by the bottom expression. So let's rewrite it in a way we can understand better. So we write, write it with the numerator as one term and the denominator as the divisor. So when you divide by any expression, that's the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So what's the reciprocal of y squared minus 4p squared? Well, you just put a 1 on top of it. So we can rewrite it as y squared minus 5py plus 6p squared over y plus 2p, all times 1 divided by y squared minus 4p squared. So now we can put those together into one expression, and now you have to factor. So if you factor, you get y minus 3p times y minus 2p on top, and you have a difference of squares here, y plus 2p times y minus 2p. So you can see the y minus 2p's are to be gone, and we're left with y minus 3p over y plus 2p squared. So when you divide a fraction by a fraction, you can take the numerator and multiply it by the reciprocal of the denominator and just solve it the way we solve the other problems. Example 5, bq squared over c divided by q over c squared divided by q over bc. So again, no different than before. Go ahead and try this one based on what you've already learned. Alright, since you are dividing by a fraction, you just multiply it by its reciprocal, but we're going to do that twice. So we can rewrite this as bq squared over c times the reciprocal of this, which is c squared over q, times the reciprocal of this, which is also bc over q. So now we just combine everything and you get b squared c cubed times q squared all over c q squared. Now you start canceling out common factors. You're left with a c squared on top. The c on the bottom is canceled out. The two q squareds cancel each other out. So the answer is simply b squared c squared. So again, when you divide by a fraction, multiply it by its reciprocal. Number six x squared minus 1 over x plus 2 divided by x plus 1 over x minus 2 times x squared minus 4 over x minus 1. So again, we have something we want to divide. So when you divide by a fraction, you multiply it by a reciprocal. So let's flip these two terms over and we'll rewrite our expression. And there it is. You have the x minus 2 over x plus 1. Now go ahead and start factoring. So the x squared minus 1 factors as follows, and the x squared minus 4 factors like those two. Final step is to start canceling stuff out and then rewriting the fraction in its simplified form. So the x plus 1's drop out, the x minus 1's drop out, the x plus 2's drop out, which leaves nothing left in the denominator. So the only thing we have left are x minus 2 and x minus 2. We can rewrite that as x minus 2 squared. So even if you have a divisor that's in the middle, you can always multiply it by the reciprocal and make it easier to complete the problem. All right, example seven. If you made it this far, congratulations. We're almost done. So 2x squared minus x minus 1 over 2x minus 1 all to the negative 1 power times 4x squared minus 1 over x squared minus x to the negative 1. When you see the negative 1 power, that is basically meaning the reciprocal of each expression. So all we have to do is take the reciprocal of the first term and multiply it by the reciprocal of the second term. 2x minus 1 over 2x squared minus x minus 1 times x squared minus x over 4x squared minus 1. So again, you can try this yourself. Follow the steps we've done before. So you'll want to factor as much as you can. The x squared minus x factors out an x. This factors out to 2x plus 1x minus 1. Again, we have a difference of squares with 4x squared minus 1. So again, we start canceling things out. The 2x minus 1's drop out. The x minus 1's drop out. So we're left with an x on the top and two of the 2x plus 1's on the bottom. So we can rewrite that as x divided by 2x plus 1 squared. So that's it for section 5.5. Five. If you remember the factoring from the previous section and you can cancel things out, today we're just adding another wrinkle where you bring in another fraction, you multiply or divide them, 
and then you just cancel like you did back in 5.4. If you have any questions, bring them up in class the next day or email me or contact me on Facebook.